one. Let us discuss this example. In this example, we have to find the value of this double integration. Okay, but what have they mentioned? The region is bounded by parallelogram uh, with vertices. They have given vertices. They have not given equations directly. Okay, so the problem will be very lengthy. So what we have to do with the help of those vertices, we have to find equations of curves and then we will solve the problem. Okay, so uh, let us consider the given points pi comma zero. The first point is here. Next two pi comma pi to pi pi. Second point will be here. Next pi comma two pi pi comma two pi will be here and zero comma pi zero comma pi is here. Let me join them a straight line. So we will have parallelogram. Okay. So let me mention here. So this point is 2 pi comma pi. This point is pi comma 2 pi. We'll give names to them. This is A, this is B, this is C and this is point D. What we have to do, we have to find equation of all these four lines. Line AB, line BC, line CD, line DA. Okay. So let us find equations one by one. Let me uh, start with equation of AB is. We have a very simple formula y minus y1 upon y1 minus y2 and x minus x1 upon x1 minus x2. So I'm finding the equation of line segment AB. So this is my x1, y1, x2, y2. So let us start y minus y1 that means 0 upon a, uh, y1 0 minus pi. Next x minus pi we have getting. So this is x1 we have pi upon pi minus x2 is 2 pi. Let us simplify it. y upon minus pi, x minus pi upon minus pi. See minus pi minus pi will get cancelled from both denominators. So we'll have y is equal to x minus pi. Let us take all variables on one side. That means I'm going to shift y on that side. I'm going to shift pi on this side. So we'll have x minus y is equal to pi. So this is the first equation we have got. Let me mention it here. So equation of line segment AB is x minus y is equal to pi. So let us go for the now I will find the equation of uh, BC. So equation of BC is same formula y minus y1 upon y1 minus y2 and x minus x1 upon x1 minus x2. So we are finding equation of line segment BC. So this is x1 y1 x2 y2 let us put the values here y minus pi upon pi minus 2 pi x minus 2 pi upon 2 pi minus pi let us simplify upon minus pi and here we will have pi see pi pi will get cancelled from both denominators because of this minus sign sign of numerator will get changed so minus y plus pi is equal to x minus 2 pi. Let us take all variables on one side, x plus y, I'm shifting 2 pi on this side, so 3 pi. So x plus y is equal to 3 pi. So let me mention here this equation of this line is x plus y is equal to 3 pi. So similarly, okay, similarly, we can find equation of line segment CD and equation of line segment AD. So I've written those equations directly, okay, so equation of CD is x minus y is equal to minus pi. Equation of AD is x plus y is equal to pi. So let me mention here, therefore, region is bounded by, okay, region is bounded by what we have. x plus y is equal to 3 pi. x plus y is equal to pi. Next, x minus y is equal to minus pi. x minus y is equal to pi, okay. So yes, we have got equations now. After that, we have to solve the problem. What we have to do, uh, see they have clearly mentioned by suitable change of variables, we have to solve this problem. That means we have to put something here. So for that, we need to find some pattern there. So yes, by observing this one, you can easily see x plus y is there, x plus y is there. So we are going to put x plus y is equal to u and x minus y is there, x minus y. So next substitution will be x minus y is equal to v. Okay, there is no more space to write. Make a screenshot of it, then we will go further. See, after substitution, we had to find Jacobian, right? So yes, but it is difficult to find Jacobian. Otherwise, we have to solve these two simultaneous equations. We have to express x and y in terms of u and v. So instead of that, what will I do? I will find z dash first. And with the help of that, I will find Jacobian. See now, z dash. So we are familiar with that determinant of deba u by deba x, deba u by deba y, deba v by deba x, and deba v by 
y. Let us put values of partial derivatives. So derivative of u with respect to x will be 1. With respect to y will be 1. Derivative of v with respect to x, its derivative will be 0 since it is constant. 1. Derivative of v with respect to y, it will be minus 1. So minus 1, minus 1, minus 2. So value of z dash is minus 2. Then value of z will be, let me write, then z is equal to 1 upon z dash, which is equal to minus 1 by 2. See, let me write in UV plane, in UV plane, region is bounded by, region is bounded by. See, first equation, we have x plus y is equal to 3 pi, but x plus y is equal to u. So, u is equal to 3 pi. Next, u is equal to pi. Next equation is x minus y is equal to pi, but x minus y is nothing but v. So, v is equal to pi and v is equal to minus pi. So let me draw rough sketch here. Or without drawing uh, that diagram also, we can easily see, we can easily find the limits here. Okay, so this is u and this is v. So what we have u, pi and yes, let me write here. So we have some minus pi also. So minus pi, 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 2 pi, 3 pi. So v, u is equal to 3 pi is a line parallel to v axis. u is equal to pi a line parallel to v axis passes through u is equal to pi. v is equal to pi and v is equal to minus pi. So that means this is region of integration. After that normally we consider a strip parallel to v axis. So let me write limits directly. You are familiar with that. Then limits of v and limits of u. So it will be limits of v will be from minus pi to pi. Correct and limits of u will be from pi to 3 pi. So you are familiar with that. That's why I've written directly bounded below, bounded above, left to right. Many times we have already done this thing in many problems we have solved with the help of that. So we have got limits. So let us discuss integral now. Make a screenshot of it, then we will go further. Okay, so let us write integral. Few important things I have kept as it is. See limits of v minus pi to pi, limits of u are from pi to 3 pi, sine, right? x minus y means v, cos x plus y means u. After that, we write value of Jacobian, which is minus 1 by 2. Let me write here dv du. See, it is not required now. Let me remove this one, okay? This, this Jacobian and limits also. Let me remove. See, minus 1 by 2 is constant, we can take it outside. So, this is equal to minus 1 by 2 integration pi to 3 pi. 1 upon cos u will be constant since we are integrating with respect to v first. Integration of sine is minus cos v minus pi to pi du. See, you know that I always take constants outside that minus sign will come outside minus minus plus we will have 1 by 2 minus pi to 3 pi 1 upon cos means you know that sec u first I, I will put pi so cos pi is minus 1 minus see cos minus pi cos minus pi is again minus 1 let me write minus 1 du so what will happen minus 1 minus minus 1 so we'll get cancelled to each other we will have 0 and if I get 0 here 0 into anything 0 so that's why answer will be 0. So, value of given integral is 0. Make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.